Ladies and gentlemen, we now progress to game two between Anesti and Ridley Walker. Uh, Ridley, I having lost the first game, has now picked Outer Reaches as the map for game two in the best of three. We're in the VRI, guys, so random race tournament, and it looks like Anesti has got Orcs again, while as you saw just then, Ridley has got Sisters of Battle, so it's actually the first time that Sisters of Battle have appeared in this tournament, the VRI. And uh, looking forward to seeing whether Ridley can make any decent use of them. That will remain to be seen. He got uh, drastically outclassed and outplayed in the previous game, I'm afraid to say, and uh, uh, I think bets would probably be on the same thing happening again, just given what we saw. But, you know, maybe Sisters of Battle uh, will be a better race for Ridley. We'll see. Uh, we've, we've seen that Nesty definitely knows how to use Orcs, so uh, no problem there. He's putting a, a war banner up instead of a generator by the look, so that's... that's uh, a build that I think is definitely geared to to definitely a lot more dudes. He's not going to be taking up quickly, but going for more boys, uh, getting through the um, well, not taking up about quickly per se as an, as in boosting his economy, uh, but uh, taking up in terms of the orc wire resource a little bit quicker to uh, get a lot more dudes uh, and, and boys and upgrades. That was a bit mumbled, wasn't it? A bit mumbly jumbly. Forget it. We're going to see some orc versus sisters of battle action, and and that's the main thing. Big uh, big mech out now. Immediately teleporting towards the center of the map to get a head start on uh, moving towards the enemy. He's in search of some sisters. And, uh, tech priest, sorry, not tech priest. What do you call those guys? Ecclesiarchal servitors. How's that? And uh, looks like we've got a uh, cannoness uh, built already. I can't see any seraphim yet or any sisters of battle. Uh, Lo Ridley has gone for the. Uh, gone for the. the Man, I'm so unfamiliar with Sister Battle's building. Sorry, guys, for the, the unprofessionalism. But uh, he's, he's built basically the, the barracks and the armory type buildings for the Sister Battle. But no Seraphim just yet. He's gone for the commander. Uh, and uh, oh, oh, oh uh, he's actually built the the Inferno pistol for the Canoness. Uh, I guess it's like an Inferno pistol rush, the strategy he's pulling here. But I'd usually expect to see some some uh, Seraphim back this up. We've got, a, we've got a missionary there who's actually very, very low in health. Looks like the Orcs are going after him now. Can't quite get him. The uh, Canonist is getting some kills on those Slugger boys, as expected, with such a powerful uh, piece of war gear. We've got some Sisters of Battle backing her up, so very surprising here that uh, that Ridley has decided to build the Pristine Sanctuary, or, or whatever you call that, armory type building, uh, purely for that Inferno pistol and hasn't got any Seraphim at all. Quite surprised by that. Usually Sisters of Battle players rush to Seraphim and then use them to transition to Celestial Squads later on. That's a that's a, a, a tried and, and true tested uh, strategy for this battle, but uh, yeah, who knows? So Anesti is pretty much taking him to town again, pushing him back into uh, his own territory. That Inferno pistol going off again, and uh, if you if you guys can see the mini map, I'm not sure if you can see it too well on YouTube, but like I'll just show you briefly. The orcs are taking both relics. Uh, and uh, generally capturing the rest of the map, uh, just as we saw in the previous game when Ridley had rolled Dark Eldar instead of Sisters of Battle. And uh, right now the Slugger Boys, the Slugger Boys quite a cheap and effective unit. Uh, they're just tying up all the Sisters of Battle in close combat, so this is really preventing the Sisters from gaining any momentum, having to hide away in their base. The Big Mac getting s stuck into the squad here, the Cannoness has joined it just to make her a little bit more drool, and finally got some Flamers, and uh, Ridley pulling the Sisters of Battle out of combat now, this is probably a good move considering that he's got uh, Flamers. He really needs to be able to get at, at least to a short range to be able to use them and start chasing the Orcs around that way. Got a couple of uh, Servitors there, not actually capturing or uh, building a post in that point. Maybe his uh, multitasking has slipped a bit and he hasn't kept up with that, but still. Now's the time we've got some serious flaming going on. Uh, not the same type of flaming that you guys are doing to me on the forums. Ha! I do like that one. Um, but <laughs> this is the battles with flamer, flamers and uh, inferno pistols, scaring away that orc big mech. He's teleporting, minutes, teleported away control, over to the uh, the cliff the there. And uh, we've got a squad of sluggers also capturing a critical location the at the six o'clock. So things generally going well for Nesty, and I can see him progressing to the round of eight uh, at the rate we're going. This being game two, and it's a must-win game for Ridley. If Nesty takes this game, he's going straight through to the round of eight. And uh, looks like the Orcs are moving to the cliff here. This is quite a cool shot here. You can see all these sister battle uh, builders in the background. Unfortunately for the Orcs, none of them are in range of the shooters, so he won't be able to do any damage just yet. Uh, oh, nice, nice work there by uh, Ridley actually cleaning up a Slugger Boy squad with some flamers and bolt guns there. Uh, very effective stuff. Looks like Anesti's putting down some uh, some thingies. 
wah banners around his side of the map. So uh, that's uh, that's going to be tough, obviously, later in the game if Ridley does manage to push back with his sister's battle to try and take back some points further up in the north, in the outer reaches, should we say. Five minutes until control now, area what's victory. really surprising right now is that we have a control area victory counting down, not a take and hold. Take and hold is when you've got two-thirds of the critical objectives, the ones that can't have points on them. But uh, the, 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 the thing to keep in mind here is that Anesti has captured so much of the map that he's actually got a strategic, uh, he's got a strategic point, uh, a control area victory counting down right now. That means that he has like uh, three quarters or so of the of the blue strategic points on the map, and that's saying something. I mean, it's it's in, generally in a game of Dota War, you know you're doing well, as, in, unless it's like Necrons or something. You know you're doing well if you've got so much of the map. Like he's got both relics and everything that there's a there's an actual victory countdown going on. But, uh, wow, Stormboy's in on the action as well. Looks like we've got a couple of squads of Stormboy's, and uh, Phosphor Grenades, by the looks of things, going off, but uh, Stormboy's are making uh, sure that the Assistance Battle are forced to run away. Stormboy's giving chase, and uh, Anesti's, Anesti's got a lot of resources he can play around with at the moment to keep all of the squads on Overwatch. Starting to drive down back the Assistance. So it's good that Ridley's got a, uh, an LP2 there to defend. Uh, firing away, flaming things in the craters. Uh, another squad of uh, Sisters of Battle coming in, a Battle Sister squad here to support, getting into the crater here. Uh, only a very small amount of support here in the form of four bolters, and uh, the Orcs are still just wearing away at the, uh, the Sisters of Battle, and, and this really plays into Anesti's hands because Anesti can really afford to, to keep the battle going, whereas the Sisters of Battle just can't, can't afford to keep supplying the troops with more, more members with the requisition side of things. Uh, so it's gonna be tough and I fear that uh, we've just about reached the end of the game already even though it's a, uh, we're, we're barely into the game the orcs as you can see both relics up and running he's got war banners next to both relics he's got uh, storm boys over here at the west to take out that point and uh, looks like Ridley is going to be facing an early exit from the tournament finally we've got, we've got a pile of guns this is like the the, the next sort of stage of orc tech, as far as I know, I'm not, I'm not sort of 100% on, on orc technology, but I know that the uh, pile of guns is your equivalent of the armory, and it's it's a building you get to progress through to uh, various types of upgrades. And uh, and Nesty put that on for a long period of time, and I think that was really the payoff. Uh, from well, let me just put that in different words. He, his plan was to really secure the map with with tier one before taking up at all, and he has done that. His plans work. The Sisters of Battle haven't really trumped him with any kind of tech because they've been so swamped by the uh, the numerous orc squads, and it's really uh, it goes to show that Nesty knows what he's doing here. He's a he's a good player, obviously quite uh, quite experienced, and uh, Ridley unfortunately has uh, really met his match and then some. Cannon S there. Sisters of Battle trying to recapture a point here, but it's it's a little bit it's I think it's too little too late at this point. We've got both the both the control area victory counting down and the take and hold counting down right now. So that's two types of uh, victory countdowns that uh, really is gonna have to contend with. And bear in mind the, the the control area victory is actually lower at this point, and that's the one that's harder to stop because uh, because the orcs can just put actual listing posts and wire banners next to the, the points of the system that are meant to recapture. And uh, given that we're now counting down, I think we're actually below the two minute mark. <laughs> Things are going to be very difficult indeed for the system battle. And I'm going to call it, guys. I'm going to call it for Anesti, Atro Anesti here. We're going to see Atro Anesti up against FC Chaos in the round of eight. Boy, is that going to be an interesting match. I will be watching that one eagerly. Uh, but until then, we're just going to see uh, Anesti polished off these last Sisters of Battle. Uh, I'm a bit, uh, I, I feel a bit sad for the Sisters of Battle because this is the, this is the first tournament appearance, the first time in the BRI that we've seen the Sisters uh, being rolled by random at all. I think Orcs have actually had a, a huge share of the cake. And there's Ridley just commenting, uh, oh well, you know, he, he tried. And uh, hats off to Ridley for giving it his best shot. Thanks very much to Ridley for, for playing in the tournament. Really appreciate you filling up the slot there. And there's the GG. So thanks guys for watching. Wait for the round of eight to see these guys again.